just over your foot? <laughs> And so that's why you don't find five hundred dollars. Hey there, everybody! Welcome to Jack Vine Savage Outdoors. We got Dallas behind us setting up later for us. Yeah, we're out here at Frankfurt, looking at one hundred and thirty feet of water right now, going for silverfish per the usual. It's gonna run six lines today: wire divers, copper, high divers, downriggers. Lots of boats out here. You know, last time we were out here in the smoke. There wasn't anybody out here. Now, secrets out. So this is the Moonshine replaceable insert, eight inch flasher. It's got the crush on the back. It's got the carbon on carbon 14 blow eye on the front. Lure Jensen flasher fly, crystal head on them. Purple Haze, I believe is the name of that fly. Yeah, that Moonshine stuff glows, dude. Like, they found out the secret on how to make stuff super glow. Oh, we got one on the 250 copper. I just switched the spoon not too long ago. I believe this is either the Jordo or the Rasta Goose. And this is a valve. Mm. It's a steelhead, it's a nice one. Come on, back. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. That's a good fish there, I think. Kind of a 250. It's like 65 though. There's a salmon. Come on, big coho. Put the toad in it, came up so good. Yeah, right. Big old fat toad. Big old fat toad. It's a toad. Look at him. He did come on up and get that copper, didn't he? Man, that's a lot of lake trout. That is a whole lot of lake trout, folks. <laughs> on the Rasta Goose, christening it. Nice, nice, nice. Toads on copper. Chances of fish surviving when you catch them trolling are slim to none. Hey, Mr. Trout, welcome to the club. I like saying welcome to the club right before I whack them. Right, I get it. Yeah, right, get it, get, get, it. It. get it. it. Right? Whenever you catch any fish, you want to dispatch them quickly. You cut their gills, and especially big trout or salmon, if you get all that blood you can out of the meat, it takes a lot of the fishy taste out. Makes it a lot easier to clean them even. And for guys that cure skein for steelhead and salmon, it gets the blood out of the skein, so you get better eggs that cure better and last longer. They won't spoil as fast because there's no blood in them. Oh. There we go. Let's clean up lake trout there. Woo! Nice fish, dude. Oh, there's a, there's a. So I've got one on the 250 copper. 250 copper. Come on, you bastard. Clear. Yup. 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 Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> nice one, Bucko. 250 copper day. Find the bigger line. Shit. Get him under the regular line. Awesome. Oh, nice. Coyote. You didn't let that one go. You're right. It's all twisted up in the regular line. There you go. Pop it. There you go. Nice. Nice. Chinooky, bud. Get him the bonk. Come on, come on. We're into it. Nice snail. Let's go and get a nose on it. Yeah. Native fish. Nice fish, bro. It feels weird I got under the rigger like that. He went straight sideways under. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. What was that on? That was on the coyote. We need the coyote, no smelts. Nice. Yup. No smelts. No smelts. You saw it, folks. The old Dreamweaver coyote standard size. It's 10 pound fish in the boat. That's the way to do it. Better get her back in the water. Got one on the other meat rig. Sally who? Ballyhoo times two. 
That was the higher new red hill. <laughs> nice one, dude. Nice. Another nice little Chinooky for the grill. This one's way fresher, way bluer. You stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, murder face. He got brutalized. He had a hook in the eyeball. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was in a bad way. Cut that 180, dude. That range that I wanted to hang out in. Right, right. You're not wrong. It's weird though, like I said, nothing in between. That 50 feet in of depth change between, nothing. Nothing. Fish in a box. Nice fish, dude. Oh yeah. Look at that, the look at that guy. Little dandies. His eyeball. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's bleeding everywhere. We got ourselves Santa candy. Oh, um, illumination. Illumination, illumination cloud. There we go. We're gonna run that on uh, about a five foot leader to our new fish cam. See if we can't get some hot strike action on camera with these folks. That is the number one time you can Elimination is? Yep. Set our dry dive to 187. Ballyhoo's proving me wrong today. If it gets four fish in a day, that's banner. That's yeah, better than our uh, earrings that are done. Our dear to win top! Jesus! Jeez! Our dear to win! Jeez! Look at that big old bowl. Look at him. Big old bowl with trout. Look at him. Kaipi. Mad burping. Oh, he's <laughs> mad. He's mad. He's Wow, dude. Nice fish, dude. Yeah. Oh, these fish are good, bud. Yeah, right. Keep some smoke fish doing this. Oh, 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 that was fun. I heard it. Mail more. Mail more. I don't know, 15 pounds. Hopefully, master anglers. He's long, bud. He's a long fish. We ended up ending the day pretty early in Frankfurt, Michigan, and we had a pretty good luck catching a lot of king salmon and lake trout. It's always nice to get out under these bluebird days and hang out with friends and catch fish and just have a good time, um, but we decided to head on back to the dock uh, and call it a day. Uh, the lake trout seemed to really want to bite on spoons, mag spoons, um, to that day. Um, the multicolored ones like coyote seemed to work really well. Um, Chinook salmon we were catching in about 100, 120 feet of water down. Um, probably 200 foot of water total. Um, got them on that purple haze lure Jensen fly. White moonshine flashers, of course green jeans, green night, that kind of stuff always seems to do really well too. That's about an hour drive back. Uh, of course, Dallas and I started talking back and forth about the best ways to cook salmon. And of course, when we get these little jacks, it's always nice because you can kind of plank them up and cook them on the grill. They're small enough to manage that way. Um, so that was the plan. But I had chorin to do. So uh, unfortunately, I had to leave Dallas to his own devices. Um, but he cleans up those fish really nice. He got a hold of all of them, got really nice fillets out of them. Then he took the 
smallest of the Chinook salmon, and then he soaks the cedar planks in salt water for a couple hours, puts them into the charcoal briquette so they burn a little bit, get a sear on them. Um, you flip them right side up, you put the fish on the seared side, kind of the burnt side, um, and then you cook them on that for, all well, I don't know, it depends how you like your salmon, eight to 15 minutes. Some people like it really rare, some people don't. He used smoked paprika, garlic, salt and pepper, and oil. That's pretty much it. If you catch salmon this fresh, they're always gonna taste great. Um, if you have a good recipe for how to cook these salmon up, we'd love to hear it. Please comment below um, about how we should cook these up. Um, in fact, is I think we're going to smoke a lot of these too. So go ahead and comment uh, recipes on smoking stuff too. Let's see. Let's see what we think. Man, that is the best salmon I've ever had. That is amazing. That is really good. All right, super good. Wow. Just nice, fresh, never frozen, delicious salmon. It's like savory, smoky from the grill and the wood and from the cedar plank. I don't know what you could die for. So good. So good. These little guys aren't a lot of fun to reel in. But man, do they taste good. Woo! That is where it's at right there. It's nothing quite like getting up bright and early in the morning. Venturing out on the big water. Setting the lines, putting in the work, coming home, cleaning some fresh fish, and sitting down to a nice, relaxing dinner. Knowing you caught this, you cleaned it, you cooked it. You did it, man. Come out there and live your life today. And you just sit at home, playing video games, and ordering DoorDash, and being miserable. No, man. We went out and we lived our lives today. And I am thankful for every day I get to live that way. I'm thankful for where I live because Michigan is a beautiful place. Amazing resources, great lakes, inland lakes, fishing, hunting. It's just one of a kind and I love it. And nowhere else in this world I'd rather be. So anyway, I'm gonna finish my dinner. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the fishing, cooking, the eating, hanging out. Uh, until next time, make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, hit the notifications, and uh, thanks for stopping by.